Since the 1800s, letting cattle roam freely for weeks and months was second nature. Well, this will be a very typical conventionally grazed situation and where they're allowed to just keep returning back to the exact same area day after day to graze. But then you start getting cows eating the same plant all the time and then they go after the best ones and that weakens the root system on those so the poor plants take over. So we ended up with poor and poor pasture every year. With their pastures dying, Neil's wife insisted he take a class from someone teaching a new way to graze. I soon found out it was easier to go along and argue with her, so I went for the one day, but I didn't want to be there. So from 98 to 2004, I tried to prove him wrong, and I didn't have much luck. Everything started turning around when I started doing things different. I got different results. Results produced by grazing that regenerates the soil, equal parts art and science with a splash of history. Our prairie soils were formed by large herds of bison, elk. They would move, they'd graze an area and keep moving. And they might not return to that area for a year, maybe two years. To mimic this herd migration, they break up their ranches into small areas called paddocks. I'm going out to set up a temporary fence to make a small paddock of one acre or less. So I hang a bat latch on the permanent post and 12 feet away I found a temporary post and string my wire across and then I come back and put my step-in pigtails in and then I go put electricity in the fence and that's it. I can put one up and down a quarter of a mile in 18 minutes.